Hello everyone. Welcome to Dream Talk. My name is Dark Loon Doll. Every Thursday, or at least every Thursday, I try to bring forth to you um, what I call the show called Spirituality Talk. Spirituality Talk is basically a show that I host where I share the um, experience I've had on this earth so far that are of a spiritual nature. When I say spiritual nature, I'm not really necessarily referring to religion because I don't assign myself to one religion. I think that, not all religions, but there's something to gather and knowledge to be learned from like almost every religion that's out there. Every country has a different culture, different beliefs, but then there's similar gods and goddesses <laughs> that are attributed to the same... Um, I don't know if you'd say actions. So, um, yeah, I don't attribute myself to one specific religion. And when I bring forth uh, my experiences on a spiritual nature, they're just that, my own personal experiences. <laughs> so today I want to talk to you about gurus, uh, shamans, and healing. Um, I have not met uh, up close a shaman. I have not met up close... Uh, a guru um, but through a lot of what I've learned which has been basically through books documentaries and my own personal experience and uh, having a reading a long time ago a very power powerful reading actually wasn't a long time ago it was about a year ago where I was told that I have shamanic um, I have sham I have a shaman in my ancestry so it's a part of me. So, and I wondered why I would draw and be so drawn to just making all this type of art <clears throat> that didn't necessarily fit with mainstream. So, and that explains it for me. But anyway, back to uh, shamans and gurus and healing. I want to just say to you all that I don't want you to feel like you have to go out of your way to find a guru. Like you have to go to another country or anything like that. I just want to let you guys know that you have the power within yourself. How do you find out if you have that power within yourself? Well, first of all, this is my main important uh, tool and thing that I do every single day. And if I don't do it, then I feel discombobulated, confused in the head, not sure where I'm going in life. I say go outside and mother nature. That's one thing I say all the time. There's a lot of power in the grass under your feet. It's alive. It has energy to it. Um, there's a lot of power in the animals, the birds that are chirping. They're not just mindlessly making some bird song just for your entertainment. They're communicating. Either they're communicating with you or just communicating with each other, but they're communicating. And there's a message within the, uh, the music of nature. I've learned that more so, you know, throughout the years, um, the more time that I spent outside. Because I feel like um, indoors is just not as grounding for me. <laughs> So, yeah, I don't want people to feel like they have to go out and run and find a guru or find a shaman. If you do, that's cool, too. Make sure it's somebody that you instinctively trust. And not just because you're going because this person says they can heal you. Um, test it with your own, your own intuition, with your heart. People used to go with the gut all the time. I think you have to go with your heart. If you're not feeling it in your heart, then don't... Um, don't go and follow somebody like that that doesn't connect with your heart about who you really are and someone that really cares about you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, isn't that common sense, really? <laughs> drinking, I'm going to have a little drink before I finish this video. I'm drinking some uh, sparkling spring water. Right now. It's a hot California day today. So anyway, yeah, I just wanted to come out because it seems like a lot of people are searching. They're searching for who they are, and they're not sure where to go, you know. 
I've done that many years, you know, and the way that I am led, well, the way that I've been led, it seems like, is I'm, I'm directed or kind of guided towards the right resources for me personally, because everybody is on a different spiritual path. Even if you read similar, similar literature and you go to similar rituals with whatever religion you're part of, yeah, everybody has their own path to walk. Um, and I'm not saying you have to feel like you have to be alone but and you can't have assistance. But ultimately, it's within you, this knowledge. This knowledge you're seeking from gurus and shamans and all that to heal you. It's deeply within you. I've found that even more so, like, whenever I meditate. Um, I've been getting into more of a deeper, deeper meditation. And what I basically do is just close my eyes. Take a deep breath. And ask questions on whatever it is that my mind wants to know, my mind is confused about. We spend so much of our time with our eyes open walking through the world and rushing from one task to the next. Or either just doing like many tasks because that's the... <laughs> I can't even talk. See, just thinking about it makes me feel uh, kind of like all over the place. We do a lot of multitasking where we're doing too many things at once. And our mind, like our mind may be ahead of <laughs> of the words that we're going to say. And so our words will come out all jumbled. Because we're not slowing down. I mean, I'm not exempt from this, everyone. I get into that point where I'm sensitive to all the things that are going on in the world and the things that I'm healing from as well. So yeah, take the time out to be with yourself and connect with your inner guide because I believe that each of us has an inner, gu inner guide. This inner guide can even tell you, yeah, this guru shaman is good for you or it's not good for you. The inner guide to me is like the higher self. <clears throat> the lower self is the person I consider to be, and I'm not saying lower and higher are better, one's better than the other. It's just a different vibration. When you're in a certain vibration all the time, you're going to attract the right things that you need with on your path, within your path to make you a healthier person and to heal. And you may heal a lot faster. So, yeah. I mean, I watched a documentary this morning about... Um, all these different types of shamans, uh, the certain shamans that specifically use like ayahuasca to help heal old traumas. Uh, and then I, there was another shaman that used more of an unconventional means by dance, means of dance to heal the person. So yeah, it's interesting how um, we search out these people because we forgot how to heal ourselves. When we were born, we were born with that knowledge of how to heal ourselves. But through the years, we, um, I think what happened was with a lot of, a lot of us, I'm not saying all of us, we were told these things are impossible as a child. And as we got older, we just started believing that's an impossible thing to do. And through movies and media uh, and television, they make joke of uh, they make a joke of these spiritual practices and finding your way on this earth. I mean, they literally make a mockery of it a lot of times, and then people can be very vulnerable to that. So you have to stay tuned tuned in with what you know is right, and the way that I do that is getting out in nature. A lot of stuff are in the that are in the house, like electronics and things like that, can bombard you as well. Energy, it's all energy. So get outside and Mother Earth, and replenish your energy. You know, your your higher self will thank you for it definitely. Alrighty, guys, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching this video today. Thank you for liking it. Thank you for sharing it if you do. Um, I just want you guys to really take care of yourselves. And uh, be patient with yourself. Because that's the main thing. If you're not patient with yourself, 
then the, these things that you're asking for that you want in your life aren't going to come. You got to match that energy of that thing that you want. <laughs> this is that simple. It's simple but not. So the way that you, ma you match it is by getting yourself in a quiet, relaxed place. And then you're at that energy where you can bring in the things that you really want within your life. Alrighty guys, till next time. Peace.